Bande Matram, Happy Darshan Day. The topic we are going to discuss right now is on the descent of over mind. The descent of over mind that is the topic of discussion for this glorious day. It is a Darshan Day, it is otherwise known as Siddhi Day, Siddhi Divas. Otherwise, you can take in the words of the mother, it is the day of victory. It is the day of victory you can take, otherwise, it is a great day, great Darshan Day. You are gathering here around the Samadhi. Some people are there on their track to celebrate the great occasion that is the Siddhi Day, that is the 24th of November. This day, you used to use this occasion as the celebration of the Supram, uh, overmind descent. So, this is a great occasion. We are also going to celebrate it with you. Bande Matram and you are welcome, all of you. All of you are welcome, heartily welcome. This is a great celebrative uh, day and you are in the mood of celebration. Anyway, it has got the spiritual significance. So far this over mind is concerned, we have taken before going to this uh, topic, you know, uh, Sri Aurobindo has uh, quoted on over mind. This is uh, the highest of these ranges of the ranges of the mind, full of lights and uh, this over mind indicates it possesses full of lights and powers. The highest range of the human mental consciousness that layer. If you, um, actually you know, uh, this is, this mind is the perfect reflection of this, this is uh, the ordinary state of the super mind. That is the last reach we are reaching here with the human mind. And uh, after this mind, this involution, in the process of evolution, we have uh, come from the super mind to the level of the mind. And from the mind, we can't go that involution, further involution is not possible. It is the distorted, deflected state of the super mind. And this further involution is not at all possible. We are going in the further, in the upward route, that is on the evolutionary uh, track. And when we start from the evolution, it starts from the over mind. The immediate uh, base is the human mind. Then comes the layers of the four, con containing four layers of the spiritual mind. That from the bottom to top, higher mind. Then you can have the illu mind. Then the next layer is uh, intuitive. And the final stage of the spiritual mind, that is the uh, over mind which is uh, really, as per Sri Aurobindo, it is full of lights and powers. And uh, from that, actually, with that, the layer of the spiritual mind ends and the beginning of the super mind, it, is, it starts. In other way, you can see at how Sri Aurobindo's mother, they have defined uh, it is in this way. Now, over mind is the passage of super mind. So this is the day we are going to celebrate it in the very significant way as the, you know, descent of the over mind. It is also known as Siddhi Day. In other terms, in other storm, you can find this one as, a, you can celebrate it as the uh, Victory Day. That is being normally celebrated as per this um, uh, celebrative track. That is, uh, that happened on 24th November 1926. Because that day, you know, Sri Aurobindo and mother had the intense uh, sadhana. Sri Aurobindo and mother had the intense sadhana. Exclusively, you can find the intense sadhana in part of the uh, Sri Aurobindo after the arrival, final arrival of the mother at Pondicherry in, uh, on 24th April 1920. And Sri Aurobindo tried to go for intense sadhana. And uh, as a result of which you can find the descent of the over mind on this glorious and auspicious day that is 24th November 1926. And we have uh, heard, the, we have got some glimpses. From the beginning of 1926, uh, the work of guiding the disciple began to move towards the mother. Because Sri Aurobindo intended to uh, go into sickle sun. So, it seemed as if Sri Aurobindo was slowly withdrawing into seclusion and that the seclusion that we have already um, narrated. 
we have already recited sri aurobindo handed over entire charge to the divine mother and he went to um, prepared to go for seclusion and on that day actually uh, yeah, from the beginning of 1926 i have told and in november it is the 11th month you have seen you know so mother taking up the great work see mother has handled because you know mother mother course um, lord the will stand i execute lord the will stand i execute and in another form that mother's message you can find the relation active the real relation one consciousness one path for both they are actually one and the situation compelled world's desire compelled her mortal birth so dual avatar in the form of dual avatar they have descended i like mother and sri or into the supramental avatar they have come down because so up to uh, mother's incarnation mother's embodiment you have not seen any um, devi incarnation you have seen not seen this is the supramental incarnation divine mother descended as the super is the as the supramental avatar so mother took up the great work so took the charge of the great work and the both of inner sadhana and outer organization because sri aurobindo tried to move into the total seclusion from that day and from that day mother took charge of both the things outwardly inwardly you can see inner sadhana and outer organization the daily meditation uh, became more and more concentrated and intense that was the change we have seen from that day and um, i can uh, you can start from beginning of november beginning of 1926 so this uh, daily meditations became more and more intense and concentrated something seemed about to, something seemed as if it is a big change is going to happen on this earth so feeling grew among all the disciples that something is going something big something great is going to happen from this um, characteristic um, arrangement and rearrangements of, of both inner and uh, outer scenario that however higher uh, these people people who were gathering around uh, mother and sri aurobindo they were disciples or they were related to us from they had the idea that uh, you know a higher power is ever go going to about to descend sri aurobindo himself was working intensely and for a long time preparing this descent you have seen he was very much sincere and very much serious so long time preparing for the descent and at last this day happened this day reached you have seen this day this great day 24th november 1926 the higher force finally descended the higher force finally descended mother called this day the day of victory siddhi divas for the descent marked a great step in the sri aurobindo's yoga work that is a great step in and through this sri aurobindo's work you have seen So Sri Aurobindo called this power, power, this descent. It is a great descent. Sri Aurobindo called this power over mind, and she speaks in the further uh, clarification. Sri Aurobindo quotes: "Still higher power is there um, to be descended on that uh, occasion. I mean, on, during 1926. So still higher, higher power, power that is super mind, which is also uh, wanted to. He wanted to bring." that is still our higher power because this over mind is passes to super mind it is going to happen and the brought down uh, on earth to be brought down he is is um, uh, eligible not only really eligible he is um, he has the vision and the mission his uh, his sadhana intent sadhana was intended to like this so he is um, um, inclined and he brought down this um, he was a um, he promised he had the intention to bring down after bringing down descending the over mind the next step he was uh, ready to bring down the super mind that is also done you have seen for the you know, descent of super mind he had to um, died at will because that power nobody this earth was not prepared to uh, you know um, uh, to bear the pressure of the supram supramental force supram this supramental descent for that actually he took everything into his body and finally he uh, withdrew rather he died at will 
बट श्री अरविंदोस एक्सप्लेनेशन में में हेल्प अस लिटिल ही सेज बाय द सुपर माइंड इट इज मेंट दैट फुल ट्रूथ कंसियसनेस ऑफ द डिवाइन विल ट्राई टू गो एंड डिफाइन द Uh, in Sri Aurobindo's writings, original writings, we can go uh, further to define the two uh, great words that is over mind and super mind. How Sri Aurobindo is trying to explain big thing. You know, um, Sri Aurobindo quotes this over mind. Over mind um, is the highest of the planes uh, below the supramental number one definition. Highest of the planes of uh, below the supramental. And then uh, you can go over mind is uh, sees calmly steadily in great masses and large expansions of the space and the time and the relation globally it creates and acts in the same way it is the world of the great gods super mind it is the world of the uh, great gods the divine creators only each creates in his own way he sees all but sees all from his own view point there is not the absolute supramental harmony and the certitude it is there according to sri aurobindo he explains highest plane of the uh, plane of the consciousness but below the supramind supramental here you can find the world of great gods the divine creators are there it is so this is a great world really and uh, after getting the glimpse of uh, our mind we will little bit move forwards towards the description of the super mind as described by sri um, aurobindo he uh, describes the super mind the super some, you know uh, super mind sri aurobindo goes forward the super mind or gnosis is the characteristic illumined significant action of the spirit super mind or gnostic is the characteristic um, illumined su uh, significant action of the spirit in its own native reality that is what the super mind it is between um, the sachidananda and the lower creation it is its place is behind um, in between lower creation and sachidananda it at all alone contains the all determining truth and the divine consciousness and a necessary which is actually it is necessary for a truth creation again sri aurobindo another way we can define sri aurobindo the super mind in its own way in its very essence is a truth consciousness very essence it is truth consciousness a consciousness uh, always a film from the ignorance which is the foundation of our present natural or evolutionary existence wherever we we are confined it is really ignorant it is it is packed with a falsehood ignorance and inconscience and the super mind is totally different it is enlightened dazzled so this is packed with essence of a in its essence it is a um, uh, truth consciousness free from the ignorance that is the great definition by um, sri aurobindo in his uh, own words so finally we we'll next 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 we'll um, see how sri aurobindo on this day Sir, in the course, uh, the, by the supramental, it is meant that full truth consciousness of the divine between the supramin super mind and the human mind are number of ranges, ranges and planes. You can find already we have defined um, uh, spiritual mind, four layers of spiritual mind, higher mind, the great rishis, great saints, and the low mind up to that uh, your Buddha Deva has reached that mind. intuitive up to that you have seen uh, ramakrishna paramahamsa has reached over mind that is the rent and the mind of consciousness of uh, great uh, vasudeva krishna so over mind is the highest of these lenses and is full of lights and the powers you see of the spiritual mind and sri aurobindo quotes over mind is the is reached and the brought down over mind has to be reached and brought down before the supramind super mind descent is at all possible without over mind supramental descent is not at all possible so for over mind is the passage through which this descent will take place no doubt we can't grasp these things for the ordinary mind is very limited uh, of this higher power forces and sabitri also we find two lines there is a consciousness mind can't reach there is a consciousness mind can't reach and uh, its speech can't utter nor the thought reveal that is a consciousness that is the supramental consciousness 
On that, that day, Sri Aurobindo's mighty spiritual work began. He went to seclusion and uh, retired from the and uh, into the complete solitude. And uh, from that day, Sri Aurobindo ashram was officially founded under the guidance and the direction of the Supreme Mother. So we are going a little bit forward on the couple of messages we are going to see um, from Mother and Sri Aurobindo. It is a great thing, we will see. To follow Sri Aurobindo, my mother speaks of, uh, to follow Sri Aurobindo in the great adventure of his integral yoga, one needed always to be a warrior. One needed always to be a warrior, not that he has left as, physic as physically. One needs to be a hero, warrior, hero. That's why you had the warnings and the call, and that is the direction of the mother. Next, we have seen one Sri Aurobindo's message on this great Siddhi Divas. Who is the Superman? Who can rise above this matter regarding broken mental human unity and possess himself universalized and defied in a divine force and a divine love and a joy and a divine knowledge? So, this is what the wordings are worded by Sri Aurobindo. If thou keepest this limited human ego, limited human ego, if you possess, and thinks to thyself, the superman, thou art but a fool, <laughs> steer with the course, with this ignorance, with this limitation of human ego, if you think you will become superman, thyself a superman, you are nothing but a fool of thy own pride, fool of thy own pride, great passage, great thing. The playing, the plaything of thy own force and the instrument of thy own illusion. Simply you are moving in the illusion, you can't find the reality, you can know the reality. Then another message from Sri Aurobindo, it is not by your mind that uh, you will, you can hope to understand the divine. Through the mind, you can never understand what really divine is and its action. But by the growth of the, a true and divine consciousness within you, with the growth of the true and divine consciousness in you, you can be able to know, understand the divine and its action. And again, if the divine were to unveil and reveal itself um, in all its glory, the mind might feel the presence, but it could, it can't understand, it would not understand its action or it has its nature. Because uh, it has to reveal, super mind, uh, it has to, divine has to reveal, and its divine purpose working, mind can never surmise, can't grasp, can't understand. It is in the measure of your own realization, that which what to come, with the measure of your own realization and the birth and the growth of the consciousness in yourself, that you will see the divine and understand its action, even behind the terrestrial disguises. That consciousness you have to reach, that is the minimum requirement. And a letter you can find um, uh, during uh, 1950 on this day. The supramental is the truth, and its advent is in the is uh, in the very nature of things inevitable. It is a truth, and its inevitable and its advent in the very nature in th of things is inevitable. Then uh, a mother's message is having a beautiful message. If you allow falsehood, <laughs> so get please try to get rid of the falsehood, that is the minimum requirement. If you allow a falsehood, however small it may be, you find expression through your mouth or your pen. How can we hope to become perfect messenger of the truth? With falsehood, you want to, even if the slightest, minutest, you can't never be the perfect messenger of truth. The perfect servant of the truth must abstain from even the slightest incertitude of exaggeration or deformation. No place, exaggeration, deformation, however silly, minute or small may be, mother goes. And finally we come to the concluding scenario we have seen. It is from Sri Aurobindo on this great day. It is not a hope but a certitude. It is not a hope but a certitude that the complete transformation of nature will take place. It is not that we are giving the hopes, it is a certitude and it has happened. 
new world is born, new light come, breaks upon the earth, things that we are promised are fulfilled anyway. It is a great day, great occasion, great celebration, great darshan day, descend of the over mind, victory day, Siddhi Divas. On this glorious occasion, I will try to congratulate you from the deepest core of my heart, Pranam, Bande Matram, and the gratitude to the Divine Mother and the Sri Aurobindo because of their intense sadhana, higher endeavor. This daydream became a reality in life. This is the day of date of really over mind, and already we have seen after some the few. Um, days maybe we are going to celebrate the descent of super mind but everything has been finalized materialized so come together have a little bit concentration be meditative you know, in our attitude and uh, in a common voice from the deepest core of our heart heart let us be grateful to the master and the mother Dhanyavad.